What's up guys, welcome back to iFixTech. Today we have a MacBook Air. This one is M2 2022 and as you can see, the screen is broken and there is a flat area right in the edge, maybe they drop it. Anyway, we have a new screen right here and we're gonna describe the whole process on how to change this screen. Let's get to it. If you have a repair kit, you will pretty much have all the tools that you might need. T3 and T5 are the most important. First thing first, let's remove the four screws from the bottom case using the Pentalo 5 or P5 screwdriver. Using a suction cup, pull the bottom case until you hear the clicks. Insert your plastic tool in the bent antenna gap and push it forward. That should separate the cover from the chassis and then just remove the cover. Let's disconnect the battery from the logic board. First then using the T3, just remove the two screws from the cowling. Then remove the cowling. Using your plastic tool, disconnect the battery from the logic board. Now let's remove the clutch cover. Remove one screw from each clutch cover, then remove them. Time to remove the lead angle sensor. For that, first thing is remove the two screws and the colon that cover the lead angle sensor. Then disconnect the lead angle sensor from the logic board. Let's remove the screws that hold the lead angle sensor to the spring. Now using the T3, let's remove more screws from the collins. Let's go ahead and remove all those cowlings. Let's go ahead and disconnect the speaker, screen cables and the antenna from the logic board. Remove the two front screws from the screen flex cable. Now using a T5, remove the three screws from the antenna speaker unit, then remove the unit. Do the same thing on the other side antenna speaker and remove it. Don't try to remove the screen without doing this step or you might damage the screen. Now is the time to remove the screen panel. Let's go ahead and remove the 69 screws from the screen. Now you can go ahead and remove the screen panel. Here is the new one, let's go ahead and install it. Make sure that the screen flex cable is not trapped between the keyboard and the screen. Let's go ahead and install only one screw on each side of the screen, but do not tie it all the way. What we want to do now is make sure that the screen is flush with the chassis, that is all aligned and is all good.
Once you confirm that, go ahead and install the rest of the screws and tighten it all the way. Now you can go ahead and install the speaker antenna unit on each side. Now let's connect the speaker and the antennas on each side of the logic board. Now we are going to connect the LCD flex cable to the logic board. But what we're going to do first is just put the two screws and then you will try to connect the cables or the flex cable to the logic board. They can be a little tricky so make sure they are properly connected. Let's install the new lead angle sensor. Remember that every time that you change the screen, you have to install a new lead angle sensor that was previously synced with that new screen. If you don't do it, some of the function of your MacBook screen will not work properly. Like, for example, when you open your MacBook and the computer turns on, that one will not work. Let's go ahead and install the clutch cover on each side, then just install the screws. Now time to install the rest of the cowlings and the screws in the logic board. Reconnect the battery flex cable, then install the collins and the screws for the battery. Now it's time to put back the base cover. As you can see, it has some hooks that you want to make sure they engage with the screws that are already installed on the logic board. You will know that you achieved that when you see that the edge of the bottom case and the edge of the chassis is all flush and is all well aligned. After that, then you will just press down the bottom case and you should be able to hear some clicks. Reinstall the four screws for the bottom case. And now will be the moment of the truth. Connect the power cable in order to activate the MacBook and press the power button. And as you can see, our laptop is all fixed. This is a step on how to change the screen on your MacBook Air M2 2022. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next one.